Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Good night, good evening, not good night. <laughs> good evening, that's what I should have been saying. <laughs> All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, come through this evening. I uh, hope all is well. And um, let's have our wonderful uh, discussion on this blessed evening. And um, we will uh, go from there. All right. So say hello as you are coming in the room. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And um, want to get this started in a few moments all right in a few moments all right so go ahead like and share share and like like and share share and like don't know what your day consisted of um, but had a very um, interesting day today. Very interesting day today um, at work. So, all right. So say hello as you are coming in. And then I'm going to uh, get started very quickly. All right. Five. Oh, all right. Five. And probably in a few more moments. And then I'm going to start. Okay, a few more moments. And I'm going to start. All right. All right, and a few more moments. Guess when that day of popularity show up, um, I'll be like Jamal Bryant and these other cats um, doing the whole, let's get this up to 700. I got 1,000 watching me now. <laughs> uh, but I'm grateful that my, um, from what I'm told, my content is pretty good. So I'm grateful for that. I'm very grateful for that. So, All right? Somebody do me a favor because I don't never ask. Um, I don't even know if it's working like that. Somebody go look on YouTube and see if um, if you see me on live over there. I I don't normally look. Um, but let me know if you see me live over there. All right, just let me know and then I'm going to get started. If anybody go to YouTube and look me up and then tell me if you uh, see if you see me there. I very seldom look to see if I see it live. All right, well, it looks like I am, so hopefully I'm sounding good. All 
going ain't what I'm looks like I am. So hopefully I'm sounding good. All right. All right. Let's go. Father, today we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Good. Thank you, Sonoya. All right. Let's get into this. And um, I'm going to let you go. All right. So the other day um, I started this conversation. And I gave you like a history of, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the ministry of the table. Um, you know, a lot of people coming up with tables. Listen, I didn't come up with the table uh, concept on my own. Uh, the table concept was um, pretty much given to me by my, my brother, my friend, uh, Pastor Johnny Thompson. And so I just, you know, uh, you know, y'all know this was word up the mind, you know, everybody knows that's the mind of Lawfridge, uh, but it really is ministry of the table because of the different topics and different things that I discuss uh, at different moments in time. So let's get into this. Um, so the other day I talked about um, typewriters when I was growing up uh, that had the ribbons. And I talked about the typewriters that had the ribbons. I talked about the typewriters um, where you had to put the white out. And then my girl, my sis, uh, Evans and Vanessa Edwards talked about the correction paper because a lot of the teachers did not agree with or did not like the white out. And so you would have to use um, correction paper when you was typing. Uh, and I'm talking about when you would hit you would hit it on the typewriter and then you would push the handle and then the handle would send everything over. Um, that if you didn't have your ribbon inside of your typewriter correctly, um, you um, would mess, it, it, it'd be messed up. Um, if you didn't, you know, sometimes the keys would get stuck and everything. You had to separate the keys and you got the elect, you know, then you start getting the electronic typewriter. And it had the autocorrect on there, but you had to push the button. Versus now what we have in a lot of settings is um, we we have autocorrect that is automatically in our phones, um, on our laptops, our computers, when we're writing different things, uh, if our grammar is incorrect, if the word that we spelled is incorrect. Um, It'll tell you off. Sometimes in trying to say something to Siri, Siri will tell you um, stuff like, I'm not familiar with that. I don't know what that is uh, as it relates to uh, maybe some type of word uh, that we are trying to uh, give it. Uh, grammatically speaking, there are moments when you have individuals, right, uh, when they are... <laughs> um, typing things and writing things and you put it in your computer and then if you have the uh the grammar one it if it's unfamiliar word like lawfridge is not a common word so it will give you suggestions uh the suggestion would be you know is it lockridge is it did you mean cough did you mean bridge um if you bring up a word that is not familiar it will ask you or you have a selection to either add it to the dictionary, ignore or ignore all. You understand what I'm saying? So when I thought about this, I thought about in life, sometimes we, you know, and, I, and let me say this, autocorrect is that which is already built within the system of that uh, particular product to bring uh, into fruition um, your correction or what your desired thought or word or or sentence structure that you that you are um, having. So um, I thought about that from us that deal with the church, um, autocorrect and versus self-correction. And so a lot of times, you know, and I, I said this the other day, I've been highly guilty of being an autocorrector. In other words, it's, you know, it's it's in me to make sure, want to make sure people, you know, are being treated correctly. Uh, I want to make sure that if they're 
uh, caught up in something um, that they're doing the best that they know how to not be in it. But however, what happens is when you start doing things of that nature, you prohibit sometimes the individual from having uh, self-correction. They're not correcting their own behavior. They're not correcting the thing that need to be corrected. Now, am I saying uh, accountability should not be? Yes, accountability should be. But there are moments in time that we don't need somebody to self-correct us, you know, um, be like, uh, I don't think you should do it that way. Uh, I don't think that's correct. I think you need to change your your perspective. I think you need to revisit whatever the situation is. And sometimes that's the case. However, let me say this, self-correction, it should should supersede auto-correction. Uh, I'm going to go even further. There are things that we know as individuals that we should not do. We don't need God to tell us certain things. I think there are, I believe there are certain things that you don't need to be saved to know. Uh, for example, you're a married person. If you are, since you are married, you know, then you know, uh, in spite of what the world is trying to come up with or, or to condone, uh, polyamorous, polygamous uh, relationships or whatnot, um, you know that you have no business um, as a husband going and looking for another you know, dealing with another woman that's not your wife, you know, as a wife, you have no, you should have no business having any type of emotional attachment, mental attachment or whatever, uh, no matter wh whether you're the husband or the wife to anybody that is not your husband, not your wife. You, you don't need that. You don't need, you don't need the Holy Ghost to tell you you are 25 years of age and you're having communication with a 15 year old in a romantic type way. You, you already know, all right? You already know, I understand this is your fourth cousin. Uh, this, this is your fourth cousin or not your fourth cousin. Yeah, this is the fourth, yeah, I'll say that. Not your first cousin, your second cousin, third cousin. This is, let me just exaggerate. This is the seventh cousin. You already know your cousins. No matter where you are in the genealogy, wherever you are in the family tree, you already know the old expression that you shouldn't be having no kissing cousins. You, you understand what I'm saying? You, you, already, you already know there's certain things, you know, you know, if you go into a store, you didn't purchase the item that you shouldn't steal. So there are certain things that you don't need. The, oh, 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 hey, you don't need the Holy Ghost to tell you you don't need a quickening. You know, you know, there are some things you you naturally know it's not right to do. So there are certain things you're going to have to self-correct. All right. Self-correct. Make the right adjustment as it relates to your mental, emotional, physical, sexual, spiritual well-being. Make the necessary corrections in your life so that you can grow, so that you can mature, so that you can be a better individual. I'm a firm believer in this, okay? And I'll beat myself up about it. If I find myself uh, gravitating to anything of my past, uh, anything of my past, in, 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 as if it is fresh to me, as if it is something I've never dealt with or never overcome. Now, that doesn't mean that because I've been saved since 14, uh, it doesn't mean since I've been previously 16 that, oh, I'll never be dealt with ever again. The Bible talks about Jesus um, was tempted for the devil and he left him for a season. Does that mean that you won't be tempted? It does not mean you won't be tested. It doesn't mean that certain things won't have an appeal to you. However, I do believe, as the scripture said, much given, much required. I do believe he that knows to do good and does it not, <coughs> excuse me, to him, it is said. I, I do uh, uh, believe that. I, I, I do believe that. I do believe that, you know, that, that there's a responsibility that we have. I, I, I do believe this is a weakness. This is a sin. You know, this is where I fall short. This is where, okay, and I'm going back to this, that that's a problem I need to address. 
not, not, I don't need prayer. I don't need fasting. Uh, in some situations, it's not a prayer situation. It's a me situation that I have to handle this particular situation in a different manner. Uh, some stuff has nothing in my summation, has nothing to do with whether sometimes we know what's sin, we, we know what's not sin. Sometimes it's not a matter of what's sin versus what's not sin. Sometimes it's about maturity. Have I grown from this? Have I matured from this? Have I matriculated from this phase of my life to where I am now? Am I, you know, am I really making these decisions still after all this time? Am I this age and I'm still living off the opinions of people? I'm still living off the accolades, the 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 the, the recommendations, if you will, uh, the 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 accommodations of uh, other individuals. Now, don't get me wrong; people like to be recommended, but I'm talking about you're living off the recommendation. There's nothing that you're doing within your strength to help you get to where you need to get to. That's what I'm making reference to. We all need somehow, some way at points in time to network. But the point being is, is when I'm living off of people's opinions, their thoughts, their perspectives, their angles, uh, uh, their, their uh, reports about me, their critique about me, um, the, the, what they're writing about me in, in, in their newspaper, their magazine, what they're putting on their social media, you know, what, whatever maybe what, what they're telling other people. Sometimes we live off of the opinions of people and we need to not live off of the opinions of people. All right. We don't know. We shouldn't have to live off of it. So there comes a point where we need to do what makes self correction. I need to fix this. I, you, you don't need a conference. Some stuff, you don't need a counselor. You don't need a therapist. You don't need a prophet. You don't need an apostle. You, 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 you don't need your best, your BFF. You don't need your homegirl, your homeboy. You, you, no, you, you, you don't need, you need to make self corrections because how many, how many of us know that we can receive correction from people who are automatically check us for what we're doing but however if they're just checking us and then we're not taking the proper stance the proper uh methods in order to do stuff i'm, I'm a big per i'm a big person on this and that is at what point do we stop talking at what point do we stop talking the talk and and walk that walk at what point do we make the decision to be like i gotta quit doing this i gotta stop saying this i gotta stop um thinking this way i gotta stop retaliating i've got to stop you know uh uh doing my subliminal messages at what point do i self-correct at what point do i do it you know uh at what point do i show back up in your life or in somebody else's life to un to, to 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 set them up to say i wonder if they're gonna bring up my past i wonder if they're gonna bring up the last issue that i had with them before i re-entered or i reintroduced myself uh back into the, his life, her life, their life. Uh, I, I wonder. So if we're going back into that, that's a self-correct because if how you left an environment is it, it was shady, then you need to fix your shady departure. You understand what I'm saying? If, if you left foul, if you left a situation shady, if you left or you presented an image of people in front of people and then they found out that you were a liar, they found out that you exaggerated, you, you exaggerated, then that's something you need to self-correct. Well, I don't care what people think, whatever. Okay, now there are points and times I agree that you should not care what people think. However, if there come a point in your life where you're sitting up here and you as an individual know that the reason why people are looking at you shady, they looking at you funny style, they looking at you like what's wrong with you, they looking at you like, oh, you just gonna show back up and not correct the damage that you've done, not speak to it, not say anything, then then you you haven't grown. You you're, you're still there. All right. Now I'm not talking about you've done everything in your power to fix it. You've done everything in your power to amend it. You've done everything in your power to, to bring people to a place of understanding. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about individuals who you left in a situation and somebody got to come tell you. No, nobody should have to come tell you. 
All right, I'm a firm believer. This is me. All right, I'm a firm. If someone has to consistently tell me certain things about something I know, then that means I've moved into the place of rebellion. I've gotten callous. I've gotten honorary or I'm thinking I'm, I'm getting away with a particular situation. And there are times we need to be corrected. So before somebody say something to you, before somebody come and say, hey, that's not cool. Before somebody does it. Let me let me tell you something. The greatest level of appreciation you can have to a friend or anybody that you consider a confidant is when they can check you about your wrong. Open rebuke. It's better than secret love. Confront me about my wrongness. Confront me about what I've done so I can correct it. But then let's let's flip it. But when it's your turn to be corrected, when it's your turn to deal with stuff, then don't get an attitude because now you are the one who needs to be corrected. I believe if we would take our own. What's that uh, play that Tyler Perry did? I can do bad all by myself. You have to take that initiative. You have to take uh, that, that, that step in your life to make sure that you are doing self-correction, self-correction. If you're saying to yourself, should I do this? And you got to keep asking yourself, should I say this? If you got to keep asking yourself, should I go over there? Should I go visit him? Should I go visit her? Should, 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 should I do? If you keep just drilling that over and over and over in your head, mm, it's probably a good thing. It's probably best that you not go there. It's probably best that you not deal with it. I'm not talking about, once again, if you've been messy, oh, I don't know if I should go over there. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about you really, really, really are pondering should you go and deal with something that you know is going to be detrimental to your emotional well-being, to your being as a person. You see what I'm saying? You have to make that decision. You got to establish with yourself, okay, what am I going to do with it? Self-correction. Self-correction, right? Once we have been told a certain amount of self Correction. Told somebody not too long ago, if you don't want your mama, your daddy in your face telling you the same thing, then do the self-correction. Correct the situation. <laughs> Correct the situation. You fix it. You amend it. See what I'm saying? Now, because I'm going to tell you, when I walk into atmosphere, I've been in places. I'll just tell you. I've been in places where stuff has been said that I did not say. When people went and said something that I did not say. Now, I'm a stickler for my reputation. I, I try my best to live Proverbs 22 and 1. A, a good name is rather to be chosen. I try to keep my my name uh, uh, un, unmudded, unspotted. You know, unspotted. You see what I'm saying? I try to keep it unspotted. I try to keep it from being smeared. I, I do my best to try to do it. I try privately and publicly because it's easy to perpetrate publicly uh, who you are. And then privately, you're the opposite of what you say. You're a perpetrator. You're the great pretender. See what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, po it's very possible, you know, to do that. I don't want to be the great pretender. I don't want, I want to be integral. I want to be a person of character. See what I'm saying? And I don't need nobody adding on to my life, something that's not written, not there. So now I got to go into prayer because now I want to deal with you because you're, you're putting, you're, you're putting words in my mouth that I did not say. I tell you all the time, one of my words, I'm a straight shooter. You don't have to guess. You don't have to figure out what I'm thinking. If I want you to know, you're going to know. I don't need you dictating me what I feel, how I'm feeling, the way I'm feeling. No, I'm going to tell you if I don't care for your ways, you're going to know. All right. One way or the other, whether directly or indirectly, you're going to have that information. Right. And so I, I don't, you know, I don't need Nobody. So a good name is rather to be chosen. I try to live that. An excellent name. He's actually seven. It, it, it's better than ointment. I, I want an excellent name. You should want an excellent name. So I don't need people adding fire to stuff. I've been in atmospheres. Or like I said, I've been in environments where my name was brought up in something and somebody else defended me. See what I'm saying? That I wasn't there. I've been in situations where I was wrong. Here we go. And I apologize for my wrong. But the people, but the person that I apologized to went and told everybody else how, how wrong I was, 
how I wasn't all this and all of that. Okay, gotcha. You upset, you mad, you ticked off, you bothered. I offended you. You know, it was disrespectful to you. I recognize the disrespect. I apologize for the disrespect. But what you failed to do is to go back and tell the same people, right? Tell the same people that you said that I disrespected you, right? And and what and who or what was connected to you. And then you I apologize. And then what happens is I get phone a phone call from someone who says, hey, what's going on? And I was like, up, oh, something ain't right. And then they go into, okay, I'm just gonna tell you. And and, he, and ask me the question, did sentence so so did you do such 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 now I knew that in order for the person to say what they said, somebody had to say something. So now why did you as an individual go and say uh, what I did, but didn't say that I fixed it and that I apologize? Now why not go that? So now I got to deal with me because now I got to self-correct myself. Why I got to self-correct myself? Because what I want to do is blow you out of the water for the crap that I know you do. I want to blow you out the water. I want to expose you. I want you to feel, you know, the, 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 the bitterness that I have because of how you mishandled me, because of how you mismanaged me, because of how you put my name up that I want to destroy you. But I have I, I, I self-correct. Dwayne, that's not the way. You, you don't roll that way. All right. And I can let me tell you something. I, I you know, being the walking Bible, I can find scriptures to justify my behavior. Don't you know what I said? I can find scriptures to justify my behavior. You know what I'm saying? And I can find scriptures and 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 what I said, no, I said to justify my behavior. It does not mean that the scripture that I use is 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 in alignment with what I'm doing, but I'm saying I can find justification. I'm not trying to find justification. Right. I'm doing my best. I know I screwed up. I know I messed up. But did you go back and tell everybody I fixed it? Did you tell everybody that I amended it? So now you got folks look at me sideways and somebody that that's not even in the, the circle. It has information. How they gain information. That means somebody is running their mouth and they're talking. I've been in that environment. I've been in environments where people ask me, well, how did you feel being in that environment? What you mean, how did I feel? When I Let me tell you, let me help y'all out. When you come into an environment and you've done what you're supposed to do, as my boy Marcus Fisher said, you've done your due diligence and you've done everything necessary to fix a situation or, or to explain a situation. And instead of people coming to talk to you, they're still doing stuff and they still saying stuff. Listen, it is now on them. I'm not, you know what? I didn't say anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Why am I going to feel some type of way? You didn't feel uncomfortable? Absolutely not. Why would I feel uncomfortable about something that you're lying about? Why would I feel uncomfortable about something that you thought I knew? Why would I feel uncomfortable? I'm not going to feel anything. You know, it, you should feel something. Have you ever been in an experience in the mindset where you have to check your own self and be like, he's not worth the conversation right now. She's not worth the conversation right now because of what has transpired and because they have said so many things about you. And you sit up here like, huh, I'm a, I, you know, I'm going to get there. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm not going to, I'm going to do my best to obey the scripture. Bless them that curse you. Speak well of them. All right, eulogize. I'm gonna speak well of you. I know you're running me down. I know you're talking crazy. I know you didn't put my my name in your mouth. You didn't call everybody else. You didn't you didn't you, you didn't say it. You know all kind of manner of evil against me. And the Bible told me to rejoice. I don't feel like rejoicing. I want to beat your behind. I don't want. I don't feel like rejoicing. I want to spread your gossip. Your 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 mess. Not your gossip. Your mess. But. I have to self-correct because I'm. I cannot go. I, I'm totally going. Uh, well, I'm in alignment uh, with what I'm talking about. I ain't go to the scriptures, so I'm just gonna flow where I'm at. Uh, you know, I I, I I could just blow you out the water. I could just tell all your business because it's been brought to me. It's been anonymously brought to me. You know what I'm saying? I have something. I, if I wanted to blackmail you behind, I can blackmail you behind. But what is that going to prosper me? 
What is it going to gain? What is it going to do for me? Because you disrespected me. You dogged me out. You lied on me. And now I got to do this? No, self-correct. You need to self-correct. Oh, they better be glad I'm saved. No, you better be glad that you're saved. <laughs> no, don't put it on it. They better be glad I'm saved. No, you better be glad you say that. They better be glad I ain't what I used to be. No, you be glad that you're not what you used to be because what you're saying is you, you've come to a place of maturity. You've come to a place of growth, right? And don't allow anybody to stifle your growth. That does not mean you're not going to make mistakes. That does not mean you're, you're going, you're impeccable or, or that you're never fall. You're not infallible. You're fallible. You're subject to error. You're not in error. You're subject to error. You're subject to, to uh, make a mistake. You're subject to go outside. And once you come go outside your character, then what you have to do is re- uh, direct yourself. Have a come. Mm -mm, don't do that. Have you ever had a moment you had to talk to yourself? You have to bring yourself to order and be like, "Ooh, if I say that, if I go there, woo, it's not gonna be good." You have to talk to yourself. Self correct. Self self correct. Self correct. Don't don't. You know, the, I, I'm not one that believes in. You know, uh, I, I I try to be neutral. I try my best to be neutral. You ain't got to like me. I ain't got to agree with your religious belief. I ain't got to. I ain't got to agree with your your orientation. I ain't got to believe agree with your your perspective on on certain subjects. I, I I don't have to agree. But if you're correct in the situation, then I have to stand up for what what was correct. Situation went down one of my coworkers. Right. I have to tell the parent I'm not agreeing with him because he's my co-worker. I'm agreeing with him because he was right. Your child did not give you the full story. So your child is about to have you come up here and fight who has a who has a who's a third striker. And if you do something foul and crazy, you're going to jail. And because your son did not speak the truth, I'm not protecting my co-worker because he's my co-worker. I'm protecting my co-worker because my co-worker is correct. My co-worker was right. If he was not right, I wouldn't be standing here trying to defend somebody. That's not how I roll. That's not how I roll. I, I, I'm not going to defend somebody in their wrong. Now, I would love them in spite of their wrong. I would be a friend to them or who, whatever in spite of their wrong. But I'm not about to sit there and condone the wrong. No, no matter what. And if condoning the wrong of an individual makes an individual look at me sideways, then God speed to you. Going about your, it's all Gucci here. Do what you got to do. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's all Gucci. You know, I, I'm good. You know, bet. See what I'm saying? We, we, we ain't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? You do what you do. I do what I do. Type ordeal. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not about to play the game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I, I have to be neutral. And it's difficult sometimes being neutral. It's difficult sometimes being neutral. You know what I'm saying? But I have to do my best to try to be neutral. And so I just want to encourage you. You don't need out of correction at times. You need self-correction. Make, make the adjustment yourself. Fix that. Make the adjustment yourself. Make that adjustment. Now, what I've always felt and is still valid to this day, you know, people can make me seem like people can make, I'm just telling my girl, I should this. People can make mistakes. People can do things uh, out of their character, out of pocket, you know, and I get it much given, much required. I quote that a lot at the same time. But if you do something shady, you do something foul, you know, or oh, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? What, what What's wrong with you? And, you know, you know, it's almost like they do my girl, uh, Erica Campbell song. You don't love God. What's wrong with you? Because of the, the, the manner that you do. I try, but I don't always succeed. I, I, I attempt to do those things that please God. That's the attempt. I try my best. And it, do I always succeed? Absolutely not. That's why I thank God for God that forgives me when I do shady stuff. But I try to repent. And, and repentance is not just boo-hoo, ha-ha, no. Repentance means to turn from. 
And so sometimes you, you have to turn, a lot of times you have to turn from the situation. Just because you turn from does not mean it's still not there. Just because you turn from doesn't still mean it's not tempting. Just because you turn from does not mean it's still, it doesn't mean it's not appealing. Just because you turn from doesn't mean you're not attracted to it. Just because you turn from it does not mean it won't bother you for the rest of your days. But you have to make the decision in your self-correction that I'm about to self-correct. I already know I'm going to make the change. I'm going to make the change. There's every, you have enough in you to walk truth. You have enough in you to stand up against every deceptive uh, way that can come up against you. You, you have it. You, you have it. All right. You have it. All right. And so you got to stand for what's right, even when the person that's closer to you is wrong. Wrong is wrong. If everybody is doing it right and right is right if no one's doing it, you, you, you just got to realize that. OK, so I just want to come on here and, and part to this and just say you don't need self-correction. I mean, auto correction. You need self-correction. Make the adjustment yourself. Fix that situation in your life. You know what's up. You know what's what was going down. You know what I'm saying? You know. Put yourself in, in that person's place. All right. Any questions? Surprisingly, I'm I'm I feel I'm done. So I'm not gonna keep going. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? If you have any questions, put in the comment section question. All right. Any questions? All right. Doesn't look like any questions. All right. So it doesn't look like any questions. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, I was shocking, shock a lot of people, but I'm done. All right, just think about it. You know, in your, it don't have autocorrect, self-correct. Do what you need to do. All right. Um, as I often tell you, remember the M's in my life: me, marriage, ministry, my parents, my siblings, my children, my best friends. Uh, keep them in prayer. Keep my cousins in prayer. Sonia, Sybil, Sherrod. Um, due to my auntie. Uh, that pass. So keep them in, in your prayers. All right. Keep keep my girl Sharita Johnson in your prayer. Keep my Patricia Johnson. Keep Al Byron. You know Chris, uh, Kiana, Patrice, Gregory, Jonathan, Brandon, Jay Sean. Keep the keep them in in, in your prayers. Keep that booker in your prayer. Donnie Faye's family, Mother Joan Walker's family in prayer. Dr. Gertrude Stacks in your prayer. All these different people, you know, who have transpired, who have left this earth uh, recently or whatever. Keep, keep them in your prayer. Keep, 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 keep my bros, you know, one of my best friends, Devin Boone. Keep, keep, keep the Boone family in prayer. Keep Donovan, you know, the rest of his siblings in prayer. You feel me? Keep them uh, literally in your prayers. Uh, ain't nothing like losing someone that's very precious to you. You know, uh, just keep people in prayer, all right? I, um, I still believe God's going to do everything he said. I still believe God is contradicting every contradiction. I still believe that the dam is broken and the blessings of the Lord are flowing my way, all right? So may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we rem but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? All right. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all, we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. Go with God and he will go with you and I believe God.